Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Karachi, Pakistan. And the last time I was in Pakistan, we visited Karachi, we made a few videos, but we didn't have a lot of time here, and so there was a lot of food that we missed. And so I'm excited to be back today. We're gonna go on a Karachi, Pakistani food tour of Karachi. We're gonna eat some of the foods that I really wanted to eat, and we didn't have a chance to eat them. So today is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna share all the food with you in this video. Let's go. I decided to change into something a little more comfortable. <laughs> awesome. Back in one minute. <laughs> nice move. <laughs> I decided to. <laughs> yes. Please let me sleep. <laughs> We have made it to location number one. The last time I was in Karachi, we ate that biryani right there. When we were here, he was actually under the, the tree, but now he's over. I can see he's over between the buildings, that side right now. The service, the friendliness, the delicious biryani. I still remember the, the dried lemon in his biryani. But then there's another restaurant, which is actually like literally right he sells his biryani right in front of this restaurant, uh, which is called Kaiser Restaurant, which is very famous for uh, mutton, grilled whole mutton legs. And that was something we wanted to eat last time, but we just didn't have time, so we are back. He's ordering one plate of the same biryani. Yes. It's a fit he remembered, story soon. He Even remembered us. walking by, he's like, hey, hey. Yes, awesome. What's up? <laughs> How are you? How are you, man? Oh, yes, that was a great decision. Good to see you, good to see you again. The leg is gonna take some time. I'm having biryani as the appetizer. <laughs> it's so good to be back. This is a completely impromptu, and I couldn't be more excited in my entire life for this. That was a great call, Ali. Thank you. Look at the oiliness and the richness of that rice. Every grain is individual, but it's just coated in the masala, the spices. Oh wow. It is just as good as the last time we had it. I get the whole like peppercorns in there. It feels even better. The mutton leg is gonna take some time, so biryani is the appetizer for us. Wow. It's so flavorful. The the pepper in there, the, the dried lemon is what I remember from last time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, they gave us Pepsis. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's too funny. That is too funny to eat it. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna try some of that chicken. It's like, it's just so comforting. It's the most comforting biryani. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Coming. This is like Karachi in a perfect setting. So awesome. How's the biryani? Very good. You know, basically the rice used in this biryani is of high quality. It's very nice oh, yeah, yeah, and tastefully, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. This man is an absolute legend. A legend of biryani. Shukriya. 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 
Oh man, what a legend of biryani in Karachi. Whoa. Sorry, sorry. I just walked into a stream. It's okay. <laughs> what a legend. What an amazing guy. Again, just like last time, he refused to, we insisted we pay and he, he refused to accept payment. He is, when you are in Karachi, this is like at the corner, I'll have it on the map, but it's like literally right outside of Kaiser restaurant. He is absolutely an amazing, an amazing man. His hospitality, his generosity, it just, it represents. The main thing to eat here is their whole mutton legs. And in this case, the mutton is goat rather than sheep. Uh, but the mutton legs, they're fully marinated. You can just see like they're caked in spice in a rub. And then he's getting ready. We're gonna order, I think we might go for three, three legs. And then they have a big indoor dining room, but the light is, is not so good. So we asked them if they would put a table outside, which they were really kind. They set us a table outside on the sidewalk. We're gonna be dining street side. And he's about, he's getting ready to put those goat legs on the grill. How are you, Mark? Good to see you, man. Good to see you as well, man. Welcome, How's it going? Welcome, very Thank good. Wow, that's a seriously hot fire, even putting my fingers over it. Oh man, it is, that is a burning hot fire. Wow, that looks incredible. So we got three legs, he put them on the grill, they are sizzling away. Immediately you can see the, like, the masala start to like liquefy in that goat fat, in that leg, in the, um, into that meat. It's gonna absorb into that meat. Oh, and he's poking it. Okay. I asked him and he said that the, the legs are pre-steamed. They steam them first, then they, they marinate it in the masala. Then it goes on the grill. That way it doesn't take like hours to grill. And also it's extra tender. Oh, that one for extra spicy. One leg extra spicy. So that just went off the grill. That's going back to the kitchen to get some extra masala treatment. Spicy. Yeah, extra Beautiful. spicy. On your request. <laughs> Beware. Shukriya. We warned you, Mark. We warned you. Shukriya. ridiculously tender it's literally just falling off the bone and his pro grilling move as he like slices it like stabs it with the knife to get the juice oh. Oh. Is it? <laughs> I got it that's how tender it is a bone just fell out <laughs> They didn't take that long to cook because they're already pre-cooked. Um, so it was only like maybe 15 minutes or so on the grill. So that's convenient. And we are now sitting down with the owner of Kaiser Restaurant. We got two of the regular masala, and this one is the extra spicy. On your demand. On our on our demand. <laughs> so we 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 have to take our own responsibility for the, the effects of the spiciness. Um, <laughs> Look at this bone, it's like a, it's like a, a gearbox. They call it a gearbox, a shifter. <laughs> you could shift. What? <laughs> this side over here? Yeah, this one. Ah, that like joint oh, area? Okay. The most tender part. Just pull it off. Oh, 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 Look at that. Even my fingers can feel how tender it is. Look at that. <laughs> this is beautiful. Mm. Would you like to join us in the, the first bite? The first bite? Oh, I'll leave. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 
Cheers. Cheers, Alina. Cheers, Alina. I see it. You never told me. Oh, wow! Is it spicy? Oh, you want more spicy? Mm. I'm, I'm just trying to process the tenderness. <laughs> it's like perfect. It's perfect. It takes it, uh, more than four, to, four hours to cook. And it's so smoky, like it's smoky yeah, it embedded is. into it. It's so tender. That masala, yeah. Like the spiciness is, is wonderful. It's it's so flavorful Good. like and what I love about it is that the the spice is all the way into the meat yeah exactly. it's not like just on the outside yeah. Yeah. it's exactly. all the way into the meat that's like one of the because it takes four hours to stream yes, <laughs> oh look at that it just strings thank apart you, thank you sir. thank you you can tell you've dismantled your legs <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. for you, for you. Is you can have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh, yeah, it feels like very, there's sesame seeds on it, and it's very, um, very, like, slightly thick, but feels like This naan dense. has milk, yogurt, and oil in it. Wow. Milk, yogurt, and oil yeah. in the naan. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm. All right. And then just grab a, you could just grab the meat, but... The meat is outstanding, and then with that naan, mm. that blanket of naan, you taste like a hint of a sourness from the yogurt in there. Mm. It's like dense and hearty. It's like perfect for the meat. So the meat just like, mm -hmm. it's just like, yeah, it just caresses and blankets the meat. Is this a yogurt based chutney? Excuse me? A yeah. yogurt based chutney? Yeah. It's a mint chutney. Mint chutney, okay. Grab a piece of this. I'll try it with the chutney next. like beyond, beyond delicious. It's like, yeah, just ultra tender supreme. With that yogurt minty chutney, that goes well with it as well. I so needed that mutton leg kick. <laughs> <laughs> we get going the whole day. We've been waiting since yeah. this morning. This really was delicious. Have you had it before? No, no, no. It's, a, it's a first time and I think it's the first of many times. <laughs> yes. Good? Very no, it's very really good. Awesome. <laughs> I'll take a little meat break for you. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. He loves it. No idea how spicy it is. Oh. Yeah. It's just not so spicy. It's like crunchy and very, very like, a, yeah, fragrant. I love the green chilies. <laughs> Finger looking good. Time to roll up the sleeves. We're going in. <laughs> the joint of the foot. If you want to uh, have the bone marrow, then you have to break from here from the teeth. This break? Then tip or, yeah, tip it off. Then you suck it from here. Awesome. And the bone marrow will come out. Awesome. <laughs> like a straw. Okay, yeah. should start with the bone marrow or start with the. I don't know. By the way, okay, yeah. I've, I've had bone marrow many times before, oh, but I don't think I've ever me. broken the bone with my my teeth to get the bone marrow. So just break it here. Is it hard? If it's hard, don't do it. Okay, it's a bit hard. Maybe we should break it. Step into your mouth. <laughs> directly into your mouth. It was a little too hard to chew, so we had it broken. You can see that little nugget of the marrow. Oh, I just got like a poof of goatiness. I yeah, I taste oh. a little oil. Yeah, you can taste goat in that. A poof of goatiness. <laughs> wow, that just like melts in your mouth, yeah. Mm. That is awesome. Oh, oh. <laughs> I heard that. I, I heard that. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Don't, don't eat it. Don't eat it. 
It's melting. It's melting. Dessert is complete. You just gotta try a bite of that knuckle too. Wow. Yeah, that is awesome. It's like jelly and slightly elasticy, but like that's that's pure goatee flavor. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that masala. Yeah. Okay, they're also very well known here for their their handmade, house-made kulfi, which is, it's like a frozen milk ice cream. Mm. Wow, that's, that's sweet, but really good. Like you, I like the texture of it. It's a little bit sticky, a little bit gummy, but then you also taste like the flakes of the ice, really like condensed milky taste to it. And I think there's some pistachios in there as well. Great way to end a goat leg meal. <laughs> yes. We were talking with the owner. He was telling us about the history of his rest of that restaurant. It's been there since 1953, so it's a heritage. It's a legendary restaurant. Some of the most important people from Pakistan have eaten there. And he was telling us about one of the prime ministers of Pakistan, who, like over 40 years ago, used to they used to set up that table outside in that exact same place that we sat and ate. And he used to sit at that table and eat. Uh, that was fun. A lot of fun. And that mutton, that goat leg, that is a must eat in Karachi. a little bit of time this afternoon because most of the restaurants and food that we wanted to eat opens up later in the evening. Karachi is a late city, I mean in terms of food opens up late and people stay out late and so we're just, we just decided to stop by the beach. Uh, I didn't have a chance last time I was in Karachi to visit the beach so we're just gonna take a little stroll, just enjoy the beach. It's yeah, definitely not swim but just to take a look and enjoy the breeze and the weather is, weather is perfect actually. The beach is huge though, like the massive sandbank. taking a couple photos with uncle that is an award winner yeah <laughs> absolute award winner oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, and actually he showed us a photo on his phone uh, where he was even longer and he, he's just trimmed it for the beach <laughs> very nice <laughs> His name is Sher Khan, and Sher Khan, Khan means the Lion King, literally the Lion King in uh, that is English. Awesome. What's this area called? Doraji. 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 Yes. And they're famous for Golaganda. Golaganda. Golaganda, which is like a ice. ice. Actually, I've never had it be the Pakistani ice version before. Ice with syrup. Yes. It's a Flavor. sweet, like. Kumail, like Kumail. All right. Sweet ice. Come here. Come here. This is ice cream soda. Raspberry. Pineapple broken slices, crystal jelly, wow. condensed milk, condensed milk. Wow. Jaldi, jaldi. Not ready. Not ready. <laughs> Not ready. <laughs> Never seen. Oh, ice cream. Yes. This is So sorry. Ek aliya, phata phata ek aliya kya? Dry fruit. Crazy man, he keeps adding. <laughs> oh wait, he's coming with a bag of a bag of chocolate or for wafers. Oh. <laughs> Assistant. 
Orcas. This is a Pakistani street Sunday. Street Sunday. Wow. <laughs> For how many people? For how many people? Two people. Yes. Two people. Wow. Is it higher than Everest? It's a higher. It's a. It's a tougher climb. It's K2. You were just telling us. It should be a tougher climb from here than there than Everest, I believe. You don't eat there. Thank you. You gotta climb this one. And you might need a harness to eat that. It actually even took him like five full minutes to assemble this. This is actually a work of art. This is, this is not just a dessert, it's a work of art. To me, it's like more a mountain of ice. This could easily be one of the world's largest glacial fields. <laughs> <laughs> it is the world's largest strawberry glacial field. Yeah. <laughs> Only second to the Baltro Glacier, mighty Baltro Glacier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we, do we, what's the strategy? Do we get a little bit of ice plus a little bit of ice cream? Yeah. Something. All in one? Okay, this is working. You sometimes get some random oh. things oh. that you don't know what they are too. I'm already at camp too. <laughs> wow. That's sweet. That's one of the world's sweetest desserts, I think. But, like, I do like the textures. It's creamy, it's icy, it's liquidy, it's all melty. It's refreshing, but like, yeah, extraordinarily sweet. Steady, what do you think? <laughs> no. It is like... <laughs> I don't think I can think right now, but I can definitely eat more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is sweet, it has like, Kind of that artificially syrup flavor, but it is like it does remind you of childhood. Childhood. <laughs> Good job. Okay, Mas. Okay, Shukriya. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, Mas. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. That was definitely way too sweet for me. I took two bites and I can still feel the sweetness on my lips. That being said, it's well worth coming here just to like, especially if you love sweet, but to just watch him make that creation of art. I don't even know how he remembers the, the steps in his head. There's that many steps and ingredients, but that was fun. We're moving on to eat another snack, which is, it's, yeah, it's one of my favorite chat, one of my favorite, yeah, one of my favorite snacks, hands down. We drove over to an area called Boat Basin, which is a food street, and it just goes on for like a kilometer. There's so much food here, but we're here to eat what is one of my favorite snacks. Pani puri, dahi puri, smosa chaat, dahi bada special chaat. We ordered about five different types of chaat, and chaat is like, there's snacks, you get a lot of chutneys, um, there's yogurt, there's masala, there's spices, and then usually like crunchy things or potatoes, uh, but it's a very common thing throughout the Indian subcontinent. And so we're gonna stop here, we're gonna eat some chat. This place is called Cool Inn. Special chat, samosa chat, fruit chat, dahi puri, dahi wala, pani puri. All of them are different, all of them are good, but lots of similar ingredients. I really want to try the, the pani puri, which is one of my favorite chats. I always love to eat pani puri. The little puris are like little crunchy hollow chips filled with chickpeas, and they, they you you prepare it yourself because that way they don't get soggy. Cheers. I love honey puri. Like, you would never think to put liquid into something crunchy, because that goes against all all soggy rules you've ever been taught. But that's why you gotta eat it fast, and it's so good. Like the crunchiness, the sour tamarind water, the chutney, it's 
so good. The, the creaminess of the chickpeas, there's crunchies, there's tamarind, there's chutneys, there are, there's yogurts in here as well. And there's chickpeas. There's onions too. Mmm. Oh, that's fantastic. The sweet and sour chutney of the tamarind. The contrast of textures, the crunchiness, the creaminess of the chickpeas. Mm. This is actually really nice. Mm -hmm. it's really Quite good. Crunchy. Mm. It's really good. Really nice. This one is the samosa chat. A lot of the similar ingredients as the special chat, but then he, he put some samosas on top. Like some straight up, straight up samosa halves on top. It's good too. Maybe a potato samosa? Yeah. Oh. Vegetarian. Fully vegetarian. But yeah, the yogurt, the the tamarind, and the like minty chutney. This one is the dahi puri, which is uh, yogurt in a puri. And then you can see the the coriander on top. Which one is a little bit on the sweeter side? It's like sweet and savory all at the same time. There are Looks like there's apples, bananas, strawberries, pineapple. Yeah, and then strawberries too. And then, and then that's like a to make it to, to make the matter more colorful. <laughs> it's beautiful. To make it a colorful affair. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a flashback to the fruit chat we had in Lahore with the the, the apricot amazing chutney. apricot chutney. Yeah. Oh, and the pomegranate seeds. Exactly. And how nice he was. It was oh, that amazing. Was a, that was amazing. That was amazing. Oh, nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sweet. Kind of like more of a like almost like a mm. like a like a whipped cream almost. Exactly. It's almost like whipped cream. It is good though. Yeah. But almost like kind of kind of sweet. Very sweet. Exactly. And a bit too much cream, I would say. You know. Yeah. 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 For me, it's a little too sweet. I prefer the the saltier chuts. Oh. This is the final one we ordered. This is the dahi bala. So dahi is the yogurt and bala. Um, we had the dahi puri already, which is the puris are the little crunchy yeah. hollow chips. The bala is like a, it's bala almost is, like a fritter. Or bala like is, the, a, is the, like, like, like the fried guy. Like a fried, is it made from dal flour? It's made from dal flour. Dal flour, right? It's good, but not my favorite. This one a little more on the sweet side. On sweet side, yeah, true. And then the, the, the bala, bala is more like a bready, it's like almost like feels like cornbread in your mouth and it just kind of like soaks up the chutney and the yogurt. So the final restaurant that we're at tonight is called Anwar Baloch and this is a Karahi restaurant. Karahi is one of my favorite Pakistani foods where they cook it in the rounded metal pan. The meat, the spices, the flames go up, the ginger. It's just a beautiful, beautiful dish that you can't miss when you're in Pakistan. Uh, but we're here to specifically, I think we're gonna have a prawns karahi. And I think that's mainly what we're what they're gonna eat, but I know they specialize in, in lamb, they have chicken, and there's just like it's like a full square of karahis going all at once. This is just this is a production. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Karahis. Thank you for having us. <laughs> and he's getting ready to make our prawns karahi. He first sizzled some onions in some oil um, and then tossed in a handful of tomatoes. Then the whole pan of fresh prawns go in. That's gonna simmer away. So oh, wow, the clanking of the karahis, the, the smoke, the fumes. There's like literally 360 around me. There's just meat going up in flame. Just 
I've been observing is that they begin on this side to the left hand side and they go down the line of burners. He keeps moving them, rotating them down the line all the way to the end where they are finished. And that's the finishing station. They can't make a mistake and so they add different spices at different burner along the way down until it's finally finished. Karahis are ready in like five minutes and we're moving to the to the dining section. Yes, Ali. Oh! <laughs> Not now, after the food. <laughs> it is the karai. There it is. Franz Karahi have arrived. Yeah, you can see that layer of the, the desi ghee on top. You can see the, the prawns. They add some cream in there. They add chilies. They add the tomatoes. They add like like spoonfuls of spices. And then that just flames, engulfs in flame. Like the process of making it is stunning. Karahis are one of my favorite Pakistani foods and I really love the prawn karahis. So that's what we're having tonight. Okay, I'm gonna dip into the. You can yeah, see it's that layer. Yeah, beautiful. Oh. oh my goodness. There's so much. Is that desi ghee though? Yeah. yeah. There's so much desi ghee. Mm. It's like almost nutty. There's so many spices in there, and I just love, along with the food, I just love the atmosphere. Everybody's sitting together outside. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, it's so good. That's like the amount of spices in there. Yeah, lots of spices. It's, it's, I never had it like before. This is spicy, you know? You can taste like... Amazing. You can taste how much spices are in there. Mm. It's just thick with the dry spice. That's like the thickest dry spice karahi maybe I've had. The like, the cumin, the turmeric, the... The spices are just like caked around those prawns and then wrapped up in that desi ghee. That pool of desi ghee. <laughs> and the ginger in there. That is incredible. Mm. That is so incredibly tasty. And it's one of the spicier like spicier chili as well as spicious karakis that I've had in, in, in Pakistan. Like, it is time. Oh. There's no better position in the world after you finish a meal than this, this position on an elevated bench table. Oh man, the happiness, the satisfaction. Check out Ali. <laughs> how, how Ali slid into position. <laughs> yeah. I think you're improving. Your position is becoming better and better with every trip to Pakistan. <laughs> and when we have to call off the day, we just don't say it. We just get into this position. It's just becoming natural. <laughs> What an incredible meal to end this Pakistani food tour. Another Pakistani food tour in Karachi. Today has been extraordinary. Starting with the goat leg, everything in between Pakistan again. I cannot even come close to emphasizing enough how just the friendliness, the hospitality, the generosity, and the delicious food that Pakistan has to offer. I wanna say a massive thank you to Ali, to everyone who helped, to everyone we met along the way and I will have all the information, everything we ate in the description box below so you can check that out. And also be sure to check out my other videos uh, about Pakistani food, I'll have them in the description box below so be sure to watch more videos. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. I have to admit, I am like, I, I'm like, I need to go to sleep right now. Okay, good night. See you on the next video. Goodbye from Karachi.